Okay, so to get started today, we are working on single leg finishes. But before we get to our finishes, we're going to work on our position, uh, having strong position and understanding what good position is on a single leg. Uh, today I have Matt Samato, uh, Drexel wrestler here to, uh, to assist me. So uh, we'll get started. So uh, when I teach single legs, I like to get our kids into the position and get them to understand what the strong position feels like and what it looks like before we uh, start moving on to more advanced uh, finishes and uh, you know from our single leg attack. So um, I'm not going to go over a lot of how to shoot, uh, shoot into the single leg. I'm going to go over mostly just the finishes so that we can focus on that specifically. Um, but when I'm attacking my single leg, uh, today we're going to work mostly on a mid-level single, which I'm going to, which I'm going to say is uh, attacking at the kneecap, you know, maybe a little bit above. Um, we're not going to go over too many low single, you know, low ankle finishes. We're going to, we're going to, uh, attack the mid-level, which is, uh, pretty popular, probably the most popular, uh, attack, a single leg attack. And, uh, and, and go from there. So I'm on my, my mid-level single here. What I like to concentrate on when I'm attacking with my hand as my hand attacks, I'm looking to grab the kneecap. So I like to get my hand at the kneecap, uh, not really above because then I'm trying to fight the, uh, the larger part of his leg. So I like to get at the weaker part at the joint, which is the kneecap. So when I shoot, I concentrate on punching my arm around the backside, getting elbow deep and, and, uh, and grabbing the, the kneecap. My head is up and in, and if my opponent is in his stance, usually that means my head is going to be right in his chest area somewhere, maybe the ribs, with my hand punching and wrapping at the kneecap. My other, my trail hand is going to come in and, and look to lock. Um, preferably, I would like to lock with my, uh, my outside hand underneath, uh, not over the top here like this. This isn't bad, this can still work, but I prefer to have my, my outside hand, my trail hand go under. And the main reason being because one of the best defenses to a single leg is guys are gonna start attacking your wrist, okay? Or even down here and pulling up. And if I have my lock over the top, it's a lot harder for him, good, pull up my wrist, pull up my wrist. Yeah, it's a lot harder for him to break my grip. Whereas if my hand is over the top, he's gonna pull that right off. So when, when we drill, I like to, I, we concentrate on that. We tell our athletes, you know, trail hand goes under. Um, sometimes it's a, it's a habit that's, that's hard to create, but it can be created if you, if you put the, the, the time and effort and focus on that. So back to, again, I shoot my single, okay? I'm stepping toe to toe, punching, wrapping at the kneecap, head up in the chest. I lock my hands right at the, at the joint here at the knee. Now. Other parts of my body, my elbows, what I really try to focus on with my elbows is pinching my elbows to my side. Okay, really pinching, not hugging. This is uh, a common mistake when attacking the legs. Kids want to hug. They want to squeeze the leg as tight as they can. And um, all that does is basically I'm committed to this leg and wherever this leg goes, my body's going to go. So if he sprawls, I get crushed. Okay, so... I like to lock at the knee and pinch the elbows tight. Now if he sprawls, my hands can go away from my body here and I still keep my good position, okay? So I want my head up, I want my elbows pinched, and then my lower body, what I try to concentrate on is keeping my knee under my chest or my knee in line with my chest here, okay? If my, if my chest starts getting too far, over my knee, I'm off balance, I'm leaning on him, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna be out of position very quickly. Uh, if I get my chest too far back, same thing, he, he pushes in, I'm gonna tend to fall backwards. My chest forward, he sprawls, I go down. So I wanna find that happy medium of getting my chest right over my knee, elbows pinched, head up, and this is really strong position. My trail leg, another very important key, is that my trail leg is driving into my opponent, not pointing straight up to the ceiling. Again, if my, if my uh, 
knee is pointing straight up to the ceiling, I tend to get more off balance. My base becomes very narrow here. And if he bumps into me at all, I'm going to fall. So I need to get this wide athletic stance where my toe is usually about even with my knee and my trail leg is pointing into my opponent here, here, okay? So from the outside, if I show this again, if I shoot my single, I'm stepping toe to toe, I'm punching behind the knee here, punch head up into the chest, my trail leg follows, it's strong, my head's strong, my elbows are pinching tight, trail leg's pointing in, and I'm really, I'm really in good position here, okay?